Every day, Noah Tingle greets his younger brother Max as he gets off the school bus the same way, in costume. The 17-year-old from Louisiana started this tradition pretty recently. They get more elaborate as the days go by. Here's Noah as a gorilla. As a firefighter. in a onesie People across the country are now donating costumes to keep the fun going. What do you want Noah to dress up as next? How embarrassing. Most youngsters can relate to these kids who have been totally mortified by their parents. In a role reversal of sorts, high school freshman Beth Bagley demanded her parents not show up to a dance she was attending. Her dad, Judd, says he and his wife have chaperoned dances in the past, but his daughter forbade them from going to this event. But they just couldn't help themselves, and their presence prompted this response from their daughter. Beth wasn't happy in the moment, but her parents thought it was just hilarious. And hey, at least they didn't do any actual dancing. <laughs> Unlike these moms, Wendy Gossett tried to provide a little entertainment for her kids when they all got stuck in standstill traffic. We were having the worst day ever. When the Backstreet Boys came on the radio, Wendy started singing along then decided to get out of the car and share her talents with other drivers. Her son could not wait for traffic to start moving again. My brain, I was trying to block it all out. These moms got their act on the Jumbotron. A nice family outing turned into humiliation for this teen who desperately tried to hide his face after the cameras at a San Diego Padres game zeroed in on his mom shaking her stuff. The kid lost the battle when dad got in on the act, and both parents teamed up to make fun of him in front of the whole ballpark. The fan cam at a college basketball game caught this mom rocking out to a Kelly Clarkson song, and her 10-year-old son couldn't get far enough away. Little Blake tried desperately to take cover under his hooded sweatshirt, but mom Mandy Remmel just kept going. 
Surprisingly, Blake says he's used to it. Mom does crazy stuff like that. He might not have enjoyed the performance, but the audience did, as well as Kelly Clarkson, who tweeted, that is my kind of mama. Hi, do you remember me? I'm your mommy. Most people don't need to be introduced to the woman who raised them. But Ann Pinto McCartney thought her son Liam needed a reminder after he left for college and then didn't call her for three whole weeks. It went by really fast, so it really didn't feel like a lot of time since I last talked to her. Oh, but it was long enough for Ann to get so annoyed that she took to Facebook to publicly shame Liam with this guilt-laden video. When you're in your dorm at night, you'd like lay there and think, wow, I wonder who fed me for the first 18 years of my life. Well, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but that was me. The video was widely shared, and Liam says he has learned his lesson. I'm definitely going to start calling my mother more often. And one dad will not be outdone by all these moms. Is that you? Are you Courtney Payne on the naughty list? Every time Doug Payne picks up his daughter Courtney from the airport, he brings a different welcome sign. This time, he was dressed up as one of Santa's elves, holding a sign that says she was on the naughty list. Another time, he showed up as a limo driver waiting for Miranda Lambert. As cringeworthy as these greetings are, Courtney says it's still good to be home. Nice meeting you, Carrie. How do I get out of here? It's the hilarious Price is Right moment when a contestant can't find the exit. Is it back here? Nope. Over here? Nope. She has nowhere to go. Host Drew Carey doesn't even notice. A viewer can't believe what he was watching. <laughs> People can really relate. Me trying to find the washroom in a restaurant, LOL, goes one comment. Getting lost on the prices right now, that's priceless. And here's that befuddled contestant, mom of two, Carrie Kinder. <laughs> what are you thinking here? What I'm thinking is I just lost $8,000 in a brand new car, so I'm just trying to get the heck off the stage. And the poor producer in the back behind the stage is whisper screaming at me, this way, this way, no that way, no this way. I just had to ask. What was the prize you won to make it to the stage? So I did win a navigation system, so hopefully I won't get lost again. You want to say hi? It's an oops moment caught on Zoom during a hearing at the Trump election conspiracy case in Georgia. Attorney Christopher Kacherov, who represents one of the 15 defendants, was caught on Zoom with no pants when he got up during a brief break. Also not so flattering when he used his teeth to open a water bottle. I spoke to etiquette expert Diane Gotsman. If you're representing a defendant in a major criminal case and you're appearing on camera, is it too much to ask that you wear pants? It is not too much to ask. When we're all getting ready for a virtual meeting, you dress according to the nature of, of that meeting. It's important to prepare from head to toe. This isn't the first courtroom Zoom faux pas. This attorney accidentally joined a virtual hearing with a cat filter turned on. Can you hear me, Judge? I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. When it comes to your Zoom meeting, make sure that you lock your doors. You have a note on your door. Filters are a situation all on its own. And certainly, you want to wear pants. The verdict is in. Wear pants. I was concerned. We were out here yesterday, and we were noting that the decorative yeah. kale that we planted in the 90s backyard mm -hmm. is probably going to attract hipsters. Um, but <laughs> Do you smell I don't see them out yet. here? What's going on? Oh. During the morning news in Colorado, there was an incredibly awkward fight live on TV. While we don't know if this is an April Fool's joke or not, either way, it's very entertaining. Oh, we've got so, full blue. Don't look at me like warm. I'm crazy every time I ask you a question. You, like you said, do you smell? And I'm like, Because uh, it smells like orange blossoms. Oh, got it, yeah. What did you think I meant? I smell your hairspray mainly. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> That's the most important thing I'm told. You forced me into a corner. Seeing that makes us so uncomfortable, but it gets worse. Sure like you don't have any product? Well, please don't ever touch me again. <laughs> it I mean, is so. I talk about good. weather. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if, if, could, if it strikes you. If you feel like talking about weather, you could do the forecast today. What do you see? 
Sunshine. And Enjoy, Colorado. We now, where know. do I pick up Kathy Saban's paycheck? <laughs> We're not sure what to think of this. News anchor Kyle Clark and weather anchor Kathy Sabine could be tricking us all. Or they might just have had an epic live fight. We can't help but think of Anchorman. I'm going to punch you in the ovary. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> A straight shot. Oh, ow. Right to the baby maker. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day, everyone. Please don't ever touch me again. <laughs> Here are more of our favorite reporter bloopers. Uh, well, I got a kid walking in here right now. New York meteorologist Matt Brickman was trying to tape some promos, but his son didn't realize dad was still on the clock. Okay. Mom's gonna go in your bath, bath stick, and this is gonna go in. Okay, we'll go on the bike ride in just a minute. I just gotta finish this real quick, okay? Yeah, but everything now we need to bring with <laughs> Okay, thanks, Henry. Yeah. I do have a lot of tape in here, yep, okay. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. A big warm up is a. <laughs> Kate, can you keep him quiet for us one more minute? I'm <laughs> Hold on one sec, kiddo. Just let me do this one more thing. <laughs> you don't need rain boots now. <laughs> Okay, honey, one second and I'll be right there. <laughs> uh, pleasant Memorial Day, <laughs> then a taste of summer when the big warm up starts. <clears throat> For that storm to arrive here in Southern California. <laughs> Another meteorologist, Leslie Lopez, had an unexpected visitor interrupt her report as well. She laughs as her son grabs onto her legs, embraces what's happening, and brings him into the forecast. He walks now, guys, so I'm, I've lost all control. Okay. Siri is about to interrupt this meteorologist's report and show her who's boss. It's Mid currently raining and 52 degrees. It's currently raining and 52 degrees. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. <laughs> oh, she's trying to take my job. This meteorologist was outside covering a snowstorm in D.C. when all of a sudden a dog runs into his live shot. Uh-oh, this dog. I hope they don't realize this dog just ran out here. Um, hey, come here, come here. Come here. I don't see an owner. Uh, okay. Hi there. I I'll keep an eye on her. The dog's owner eventually realized what was happening and came out to get him. There you go. I'm so sorry. No, are you okay? Did she really just run out? Yes. She just jumped through the gate. Oh, she got through the gate. She wanted to see us. Now that is great TV. This meteorologist was delivering her forecast when all of a sudden, whoa, there were dozens of her. Ooh, that's funky. What is going? Ooh. <laughs> Minneapolis weather reporter Jennifer McDermott led a train of clones across the screen. Do you guys want one Jennifer or two Jennifer? <laughs> she couldn't stop laughing. She later explained how she embraced the mishap. I'm just gonna take it and run with it, see what happens. And uh, apparently it's made a lot of people laugh. <laughs> a car crash happened right behind this reporter's live shot, but she kept on going with her story. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I'm not here to cover the crash that just happened behind me, but I hope everyone's okay there. A bicyclist attempts to take a selfie and loses control, crashing to the ground on live TV. MSNBC reporter Guad Venegas was reporting from the Santa Monica boardwalk. The reporter didn't even notice as another biker stopped to help. And Guad, as you were speaking, a guy fell off his bike, but he seems to be doing okay. The reporter couldn't believe he didn't see the accident. He looked over his shoulder to see how he could have missed it. Turns out the woman who fell, she was okay, and off she goes, with maybe just her pride a little bruised. This is Inside Edition Digital. Would you look at that? Let's see it, show us your stuff. How about ice skating in the street? This is a street in front of my house, look at him go. An ice storm in North Dakota created the perfect conditions for it. Clearly a professional. Is it good ice? That's not bad. <laughs> what? what did you do? Dad! Holy Here are some of our favorite lockdown reporter moments. 
Lily and Savvy wanted to say hi to everybody. Come here, Sav. You're too little, Sav. They're not going to see you down there, honey. When you're working from home, every day is bring your kids to work day. Okay, girls, how about you go right over there and let's watch Daddy do his stuff, okay? Okay. So when New York City meteorologist Lonnie Quinn tried to tell the forecast... Savvy's going to cry, so otherwise we're going to just keep her with us, guys. All right, it is six... His kids wanted nothing more than to stay on camera. You want to see the tutu? I'll show you the tutu one more time. There we go with our tutu. I'm staying with Savvy. This has gone south very quickly. Clearly, something Lonnie wasn't forecasting was for his little ones to steal his thunder. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maple, can you stop just for a second? It wasn't so sunny for meteorologist Scott Connell in St. Louis when his dog kept interrupting. Three, two, one. More cold air. Three, two, one. Cold air continues across. He almost gets his stand up in. We'll show you when the best chance of precipitation is with Futurecast. Maple. We don't need That's to see the, that forecast map. We'll just look at Brody. <laughs> Then Brody the dog made a faux pas when he accidentally hit a button that impacted Paul Delegato's forecast in Tampa, Florida. Come here, buddy. You just messed up. Come up here for a second. Just come up. Come up here. Come up. Up, 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 up. The maps aren't going to move because he just whacked the, the computer with his head. So let me let me just verbalize the forecast, okay? That wasn't a, that wasn't very smart. Pets are crashing live reports everywhere. Here's a TV station in Detroit. And by the way, Brian and Amira, you guys trying to do this with a dog watching you right here? Hey, Scout. <laughs> How about that? Yes. What do you think? She does that everything on command. A long just, day. just like that, huh? Something similar happened on the Weather Channel. This has been my coworker all day. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Astro, Chris. Yeah, Jackie, I've got my coworker with us uh, as well. Here's his, uh, this is Lulu. <laughs> Jessica Lang is a reporter in Sarasota, Florida. She was taping a stand-up in her kitchen with mom behind the camera. Technology kills viruses in just one... What did you do, mom? Dad, holy crap! Then comes dad from down the hallway as he's putting his shirt on. Let's see that again. Technology kills viruses in just one... What did you do, mom? Dad, holy crap! The caught on camera moments get worse. This reporter was live on the air on a channel in Spain. A semi-naked woman walked right behind him and into the frame. Whoops. And reporter Melinda Meza in Sacramento, California, was taping a segment on how to cut your own hair. So people won't have to do this much longer. But little did she realize her naked husband was in the shower. There's his reflection in the mirror. Awkward or embarrassing moments beamed across the internet. GMA contributor Will Reeve learned a good lesson when he opted for shorts instead of pants one morning. Yep, that's me, busted, wearing shorts on GMA. My casual bottom half going viral. A news reporter went live on the air without wearing pants. That's GMA's Will Reeve, sitting in his home with a suit jacket and tie on, and some shorts showing off his bare legs. Whoops. He didn't really mean for anyone to see he wasn't wearing pants. Reeve is the son of the late Christopher Reeve, who played Superman. See, I'm from, um, well, pretty far away. Another galaxy, as a matter of fact. Superman's alter ego, of course, was Clark Kent, who also stripped down in public sometimes. Excuse me. Reeve has been poking fun at himself for his on-air clothing mishap, calling it hilariously mortifying saying he purposely had shorts on but didn't know anyone would see that at home. He posted a statement saying, trying to be efficient, I got ready for a post GMA workout a little too soon this morning. The camera angle along with friends, family and several hundred strangers on the social media made me rethink my morning routine. Any sartorial tips from these people wearing a belt, trousers and shoes during their work video calls at home are most welcome. Now. Back to work, wearing pants. Even GMA's George Stephanopoulos feels his pain. Well, if you're watching right now, it is okay. I was wearing shorts yesterday as well. My camera was just a little bit higher. I guess next time, don't shorts cut it. On a personal note, I just want to say I try to take life seriously, but not myself. When I'm a lousy camera operator. The next day, he put together a segment on best dress practices. 
And a headline reminder for anyone who's using Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, anything with a camera, make sure you frame your shot. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, the perils of working from home. Three, two, one. These people had embarrassing mishaps. In 2020, this 14 year old found herself trapped in a baby swing while recording a TikTok. If you're not very famous on TikTok, you will be. <laughs> Firefighters even used dishwashing soap to try to slide her out. Oh, that really hurts. She was trapped for almost two hours before finally being set free. It's going, it's going. In 2021, U.S. Congressman Donald Payne Jr. forgot to turn off his camera during a morning Zoom call and revealed his belly and boxer shorts. The look on the face of this Florida congresswoman said it all. The mishap got big reactions. One congressman tweeted, If taxpayers are paying you $174,000 per year, getting out of bed and putting some clothes on for work seems like it should be a minimum requirement. Earlier on the same call, Payne appeared fully dressed in his shirt and tie. So at some point, he slipped into something a little more comfortable. In June of 2023, Alyssa Conk fell hard on the treadmill, and so did her pants. I was so embarrassed. I looked both ways, and I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing, and I like said it really loud. My shoelace came untied and definitely caught me. My foot twisted, and I think I stepped on the shoelace, and I caught myself. It just like got caught, and then just whoop, right, right off, and then I... I let go because I felt my butt cheeks hanging out. Alyssa had cuts and scrapes on her face and legs. She asked the gym for the surveillance video and posted it on Instagram. I just wanted to make the world laugh. Everyone's like, you're a celebrity, you're a celebrity. Yeah, I'm like, just for my butt. You know, everyone's seeing my butt and I'm famous for my butt. In 2016, a woman named Michaela went on a Twitter rant sharing a mortifying bathroom incident while on a first date. She wrote, I have a story to tell. It's about my poop. I am a confident, calm, and self-assured woman, so I felt comfortable pooping in his bathroom. This was a mistake. His toilet did not flush properly. So of course, like any calm, confident, self-assured woman, I panicked and flushed it a million times, making everything worse. And the tweets got grosser. She added, something came over me and I knew exactly what I had to do. I got toilet paper and removed the one poop from the toilet in multiple layers of toilet paper and put it in my purse. All right, so now what? We are sitting there on his couch and kissing and all I can think of is the piece of poop in my purse. He says, you're so beautiful. The moment you smiled at me, you had me. Me in my head. I have a piece of poo in my purse. A few hours later, she said the guy flushed the toilet and she ran in to remove the bowel from her bag. By the grace of God, it worked. The poo flushed. I was free. I was in the clear. Everything was going to be okay. I survived. I am a survivor. In 2017, while on The Price is Right, this contestant named Renee didn't just come on down. She fell on down on her butt. Oh, Renee. Renee. Drew Carey helped her to her feet and she carried on. Oh, Renee. Renee. You're gonna, you're gonna break one of your fancy nails. <laughs> They're the pranks being seen around the world. Where did you buy these? <laughs> Guys being tricked into wearing swim trunks that dissolve in the water. Watch as this unsuspecting dude runs into the ocean with his family, not realizing the swim shorts his sister just gave him as a gift were to dissolve in just three minutes. At first, he doesn't realize he's been pranked, but it finally dawned on him after his mischievous sister couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Erin Mansour pranked her husband Chris when she had him wear the shorts for a water aerobics video. I got you. I got you, got you, got you. The stunt got them suspended from their community swimming pool for 90 days. I need shorts. <laughs> This guy was pranked by his wife. He had to use their baby to cover up. Don't drop our child! And the shorts worked better than I was anticipating. Rachel Flom convinced her husband Jordan to take a dip in the pool with the new trunks. About a minute into being into the water, it started to feel looser. But they were smart in that they gave me the baby, so I didn't have the hands to just check out what was going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Could it be true? Did this teen really flirt her way out of a DUI? <laughs> no DUI for me, bitches. 18-year-old high school student Skylar Fluss posted the video on social media, claiming she was pulled over for drunk driving but talked her way out of it after giving a sob story about breaking up with her boyfriend. I was like, I just got out of a really bad relationship and he's really toxic and he dumped me. She even says she failed a breathalyzer, but instead of arresting her, she claims the cop asked her out. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. The teen also posted video she says was from earlier in the night that shows her chugging tequila and goofing around. Now the sheriff's office is fighting back, releasing this body cam video that shows what really happened. So I pulled you over because you're weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really upset. Okay. How those crocodile tears flowed. Were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to call him to get a hold of him because my heart. The officer shows compassion. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? No? Okay. He checks her license and registration, and when he returns a few minutes later, he seems like a good guy. Sounds like you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? Contrary to the teen's claims, there was no breathalyzer, and he definitely did not ask her out. Today, I spoke with the officer, Deputy Tyler Stahl, of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in Colorado. What was your initial reaction to this girl's claims that she flirted her way out of a DUI? Oh, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, when, when, when they, I'm glad I was sitting down when I got the phone call. If you didn't have the body cam, what what would have happened here? It would have been a he said, she said, and it would not have been good right away. Turns out Skyler is a senior at Columbine High School, the site of the horrific school shooting in 1999. She says if the embarrassing video is proof of anything, it's that she still has a lot of growing up to do. Savannah, wake up! She's a true sleeping beauty. This teen has fallen asleep in her mother's car and nobody can rouse her. She won't wake up. They try everything. They knock on the window. They blare car horns. Oh my gosh, she's killing me. I'm dying. Nothing is working. The drama started when Alicia Johnson and her 13-year-old daughter Savannah drove to the local Walmart in Linden, Utah. Mom left Savannah in the car with the keys so her daughter could listen to music. When she came back, she found Savannah out like a light with the door locked. All the banging and honking and shaking the locked car wouldn't wake up Savannah. For 30 solid minutes, Savannah was totally oblivious to what was happening. It was time to make this embarrassing call to police. She didn't want to come into the store with me, so she wanted me to leave the keys in the car so she can listen to music. When police arrived, an officer used a special tool to get the door open. Time to wake up, Savannah. Savvy, look around. We had to call the police to open up the car. Wait, what happened? Look, I was just thinking, I was like, what happened? Like, did somebody, like, break in? Did I pass out? Like, what happened? So are you going to make her come into the store with you next time? For sure. Yeah. We're not Definitely. doing that again, <laughs> ever. Savannah, wake up! Look who's singing in the shower. Okay, it's not the rainforest, but this bird sure does seem to be enjoying himself. These people fainted in public places. In 2018, the excitement was too much to handle for Clara Sosa from Paraguay. Miss Gran Paraguay! She fainted on stage when she won Miss Gran International. The pageant was broadcast live on Facebook, so there was no way of editing the moment out. One of these two ladies will be the new Miss Grand International. After the winner was named, the first runner-up tried her best to stop the fall, and others rushed to help the overwhelmed beauty queen. In 2022, this Davis, California man decided to film himself weightlifting. He got set up, 
got into position and went to deadlift. He's focused and then suddenly he passed out. Luckily, it wasn't for long. He gathered himself together and appeared to be okay. <laughs> In March of 2023, Los Angeles meteorologist Alyssa Carlson fainted during a live TV broadcast. Initially, when this happened, I think a lot of people, including myself, thought I was having a heart attack on the air. That was not the case, thankfully. I hadn't had breakfast that morning. Um, I also had been drinking a lot of coffee, and so most likely I was maybe a little dehydrated. So at, at that point, I thought, I'm just going to power through. I'll be fine as I usually am. I could feel the tunnel vision coming and just starting to get black. She later revealed she was diagnosed with vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal syncope is the most common type of fainting. It occurs when your nervous system unexpectedly triggers your heart rate to go down and your blood vessels to dilate. That combination causes not enough blood going to your brain, so your body tries to compensate and collapses. I do have a history of fainting. It hadn't happened in a while, and I'm now going to have to learn how to really recognize the symptoms of this condition. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. In 2015, CNN anchor Poppy Harlow slurred her words before passing out while on air. Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a quite a uh, turnaround in. Uh, CNN cut to a commercial and Poppy came back on air 10 minutes later. I got a little hot and I, I passed out for a moment. I am fine. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Quite a, quite a uh, turnaround in... Uh... In August of 2023, this father-to-be was on the floor while the mom-to-be was in labor. He definitely tried his best. Corianne Johnson was about to give birth to her daughter, Navy, but the epidural was just too much for hubby Cody. Whenever I saw the needle, which was about yay long, I felt that same stomach turning thing coming on. So I tried to get up and walk away just to see if I could get it to subside. I look over and I see Cody on the floor and he's crawling, trying to make it over to the couch. The <laughs> anesthesiologist said, do you, do you want to grab your phone? <laughs> do you want to film this? I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Nurses gave Cody crackers and juice and helped him to a couch. To my credit, they said it was a graceful fall. I kind of like collapsed down very gently. The doctors were so used to this happening. They were just like, oh, another one. <laughs> After Cody came to, he was ready for daddy duty. He's been a great dad since she was born, so I'm, I'm very grateful. The weather can be unpredictable, and so can weather newscasts. <laughs> Here are some of the best accidental weather moments caught on camera from TV stations around the world. And there is a dog behind me. And if you're heading out for Halloween, then the weather's set fair across England and Wales largely. Off with your head. Taking advantage of technology and the power of the green screen. This meteorologist played a good trick on his audience. Maybe the odd shower across northern England. Now that's a fun Halloween moment. And also quite a bit milder than of late. If you look farther west, you will be... This seeing... meteorologist has the power to reference Star Wars in her weather reports. The force is strong, though. Just listen to all of them. Like the weather strikes back. Don't be a trooper. Please take care on the roads. If you're forced to awaken early tomorrow morning, it will be on the dark side, but as you can see, fairly mild. Far, far away towards the southeast of England, there's a new hope for some sunshine developing in the afternoon. My heart's, like, racing a little bit. Are we ready? <laughs> Forget solving global warming. This meteorologist has an act for solving Rubik's Cubes. So right now we are waking up to dry conditions across our area. She does it in under three minutes during her entire forecast. We have a <laughs> mild a long start to ever. your Sunday morning. Let's Yay! wrap it up. Yay! There's your moisture tracker. <laughs> Since the snow started this morning at about 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let up at all. Check out this intruder making its way into a reporter's snowstorm live shot. I've seen countless spin outs and um <laughs> They're good for ridding your garden of bugs or oh. flying onto plants. <laughs>
How's that for, how's that for an introduction? How about this pink bird flying onto the newsroom set? Yes, Talking about this day. next or now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the anchor wasn't expecting that guest so soon. <laughs> how's, that for, how's that for an introduction? This is what was reported to the National Weather Service and or a dog made his way onto the set of a meteorologist's forecast. And the sunshine increasing, and there is a dog behind me. Doesn't seem like he <laughs> predicted that. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's not the dog days of summer just yet, but it will be at least warmer than you'd expect for this time of year. Still some stubborn overcast. And this fella stole the spotlight. Look at this. <laughs> he, he totally checking out the camera, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> A bird blocked the shot during this weather report, making this meteorologist go into overtime. Oh my gosh. I'm, this is so cool. Yeah. I might need a little more time for this weather segment to just to, because we have a little visitor. Yeah, there were frogs everywhere and toots. That's not going to do it. It's crazy. And who could forget this little boy? Well, hey there. I don't know what's going on with Zayda. Interrupting a weather report to bring viewers watching from home some laughs. Sure. <laughs> well. We've got a little bit of uh, interesting things going on right now. We're glad to see all these newscasters <laughs> weather through some wacky moments. Quite a bit milder than of late. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com. <laughs> An emergency oh, no, 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 situation. <laughs> 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 New Zealand journalist Hilary Barry, not to be confused with actress Halle Berry, cranks up hysterically while reading a serious news story live on air. He said he'd had an emergency defecation situation and needed to use her bathroom, but the judge in the case found he had a sexual motive. Because this next story is so tragic, I cannot be laughing. And you guessed it, the laughter doesn't stop while she reads it. Right. Investigators believe a bomb caused the explosion on a plane which has just taken off from the Somali capital of Mogadishu. The blast blew a hole in the side of the plane and one of the 74 passengers on board was sucked out. <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> and I'm not laughing at that. Scary, <laughs> yes, but at least she owned up to her mistake. <laughs> Today could be the day I lose my job. <laughs> They can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny? It's this sign made by a friend that greeted them at the airport, welcoming my cheating husband and his floozy mistress home from their, quote, business trip. <laughs> <laughs> of course, none of that's true. Fortunately, this guy and his girlfriend have a great sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like shaking and sweating. What does it say? Oh, give me my cheating husband. <laughs> Bye. How many kids get dropped off for school like this? Don't, Don't forget, forget, you are magical. 12-year-old Ashton is TikTok famous because no telling what his mom is gonna do. Ashton, wait, you forgot to give me hugs and kisses! There was the time Tanya Aaron serenaded her son with a karaoke microphone. Shine bright today because you are my sunshine! Then there was the time mom got into a costume to embarrass him in the lunchroom. You are so special to me. I love you. We love making people laugh, even if it's at our own expense. I love being embarrassed. Don't forget, you are magical. You are magical like a unicorn farting rainbows and butterflies. I love you. Popping the question can be a nerve-wracking experience, but for these couples, it was downright cringeworthy. It was a beautiful wedding proposal, but as this couple started celebrating, into the water it went. The waterlogged moment was caught on camera along the beach in Clearwater, Florida on a picture-perfect day. 
Sergio had been saving for the ring for quite some time, and even had a plane fly by to help pop the question. Unfortunately, not even the romantic moment could save this groom-to-be from this epic embarrassment. Let's hope he had insurance. And it's safe to say that this couple also should have stayed away from the water. Their beautiful moment was quickly ruined when this guy dropped his girlfriend's ring into the waterfall. I was crying with happiness, but then I was crying with, like, fear all at the same time. I looked it up and his face was just shocked. The ring was unfortunately never found. And this seemingly perfect proposal really shows how much she fell for him, literally. Amanda from New Jersey laughed off her not-so-gracious moves in ice skates after she tripped during her boyfriend's proposal. She's still in shock over the surprise at the Rockefeller Center ice skating rink in New York City. There was a lot more I wanted to say and everything, but I saw her struggling to stand, so I'm like, I gotta get the short version now. Amanda says it was a perfect way to start their future together. Working on my flow flow. Now imagine taking a year to plan a proposal with a song, only for this to happen. Race car driver Jorge Collado spent 12 months writing a rap song to propose to his girlfriend Sam. But when he finally played it on a road trip, she kept turning down the music. When he started referencing their personal history, she was finally all ears. Jorge eventually pulled over for an even more proper proposal, officially completing their drive down memory lane. And this proposal in an apple orchard wasn't very sweet. Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> Are you lying? No. Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Randy got down on one knee, his girlfriend thought it was a joke and threw a half-eaten apple at his head. I was just in shock. I was overwhelmed, for sure. I don't think I realized that I got hit with the apple until afterwards. Like, I think I was just so nervous and so, like, my adrenaline was going and then, like, I thought it was just sweat I was wiping off my face. But here, at the end of the day, it was apple. <laughs> you know what they say about the best laid plans? After these awkward beginnings, we can only hope there are blue skies ahead for these couples. This is InsideEdition.com. Powerful stories that change the way you think. Impactful investigations that change the way you see. How many times has your car been stolen? Five times. Yeah. What? Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. Mm, I love it. Heartwarming moments that change the way you feel. <laughs> Now available in a place that changes the way you watch TV. Inside Edition, streaming.